My name is Adi, and just like you, I am here present on planet Earth, participating in something really incredible. We as planetary beings belonging to Mother Earth are calling in the Mother. This is a very ancient story. And many of you are now remembering. Remembering really was fully activated in 2019, around December. And so for many of us, we have so many ancient memories and important cosmic memories coming in. 2020 was a year unlike any other on planet Earth, aligning so many energies, just really anchoring all that light celestial light that is available to us and now 2021 divine mother is the most forgotten element of creation let me introduce you to divine mother she has been coming through my being for quite a long time in this reincarnation but she comes really through all of us Every baby, when they are newborn, speaks her tone. In this world, she has been forgotten for a really long time, but the best way to remember her is to watch a baby. Baby, the first sound that they make is ma, 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 ma. And this is really not calling the mother mother, but there is a sound. All of creation is really the artwork of sound, of color, frequencies, music, and breath, and really patterns that are created through this breath and through the different sounds, the frequencies, and that color. The color is always rainbow. When source emanates life force, we can really see it as frequencies of rainbow light. And music is really what source is filled with. That is the sound of creation is music and not just any music. But as you look at the rainbow, the different spectrum of light, each color is musical frequency. The first most important planetary frequency is Ma. 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 And so little babies, when the mother moves through them as life force, she just animates us. And creation was meant to be animated. In a way, we are beautiful vessels through which Divine Mother wanted to move to play her game of life, to see what she is capable of creating through her babies that we are. And that didn't go so well maybe on planet Earth, but we are now restoring, restoring her love for humanity. Really, it is love for creation and Divine Mother often calls herself Goddess Life. Life. She is in all of nature, she is in our bodies, she is in all that is alive, but also all that is not. She is also the void. The new frequency that is coming in now, very strong, that we can use to call her in, is just simply Ma. Just remembering, and if you have little babies, just really treat them as saints. This is one of the falls of humanity, and it's okay, we are just experimenting and all is about to be restored, upgraded back to that love that the mother is. The mother is not really a being that we could understand as a human being, you know, like someone with a face, arms, legs. It's more of a cosmic presence of this rainbow, magnetic love, bliss ecstasy really the fullness of expression of that sound of different frequencies and so our ancients they knew this 
and they knew that they had to sing songs, but not songs with words. These primordial songs are not songs with words, they are frequencies. And so simply getting into the toning of Ma may bring up other frequencies of creation. You can experiment. Beings that we are were intended to sing songs, these cosmic songs, no words, but just frequencies. Maybe just singing. Whatever it is, that is the tone without meaning and yet it creates worlds. Divine Mother today showed us so much of what is going to be restored so that we can again be fully expressing her rainbow light, her love on this planet. One of the things that are really important to her well-being and harmony is the human, I guess, use of what we would call sexual energy. We've had so much distortion to something that is so sacred and not many humans remember it and can actually practice the true sacredness of what we would call sex. Sexual energy used to be just the life force, the energy of Divine Mother, this beautiful ma, 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 running through every body, running through every meridian, running through the channels. And she is ecstatic, but she is not body-oriented. She doesn't need body parts to feel that bliss. She doesn't need to objectify, she doesn't need to get horny, she doesn't get need to look at something to be aroused. And so she used to have this matriarchal society on planet Earth. Her planet, before it became Mu, was Ma. Ma, Ma was here. Ma was creating her world. And in her world, sex was not really at all what we know it as now in her world everything was just about bliss expansion ecstasy it was very orgasmic but it had really nothing to do with lusting with needing to be turned on and the world was just really matriarchal the mothers were in charge of this world and not in charge they just simply were honored I have not seen like the divine masculine to be as important and maybe it is maybe I just don't have glimpses into that or insights but it was the divine feminine this world was all about the divine feminine the mothers the grandmothers the daughters the babies the children the birth the sacred womb the sacred really body parts even when it came to the physicality of a woman like vagina and clitoris all of that belonging to the mother and then somewhere down the road humanity switched to patriarchal and patriarchal society really and again that's just a personal insight that I have was the road that didn't lead to greatness and that's the road that we will be i guess switching from right now and switching back to that motherly society where art creativity love the mother the children are honored and worshipped and really there is reverence for the mother reverence for the children reverence for the divine feminine and the divine masculine is there to play that game along to be part of this co-creation but definitely not to be the one to create war to create politics to create monetary systems to create stupid schooling systems 
to disconnect from nature, to tell us it's okay to completely disconnect from the divine feminine. So now she is coming back. We are calling her and we are calling her with her sacred chant. Her true chant, Ma. I think the Kundalini yogis, they really knew. And of course the yogis knew. I always say one of my teachers, Yogananda, he was in love with Divine Mother. He served Divine Mother just like so many. And she is in all. Anytime we are creative, when we sing, when we chant, when we paint, when we connect with nature, when we honor another species, a really important thing that really has to come up for humankind is the reverence. For that cosmic life in all to fall in love with animals too to be again aligned with the flow and to realize that water is sacred water is really the element of the mother she is in us as tears as liquids and we need clean water on planet earth the fact that we have poisoned our waters and commercialized water and that most people actually on this planet don't even drink clean water, it leads to our fall. Consciousness is contained in water, pure water, cosmic water. She is cosmic. She's not just planetary. She's not just earthly. So when we drink real water, we are connecting with the mother. And when we cry, we are connecting to the mother. When we, you know, connect with our body liquids, she is there. That's why we have so much water inside of us. That is the divine mother within. So let us not be like prunes and dry up. Let us become juicy water beings like we were meant to be. And she will restore every, what we would call, discordance within the humankind. Today Divine Mother gave me that chant, Ma. Ma is a call. Ma is a call of restoration. Ma is what the children teach us. And may we use all of these amazing energies that are flowing into our consciousness now. May we be open May we really seek this divine feminine in our lives and restore the balance in our sexual behaviors. May we really liberate, liberate from this nonsense that trapped women and men in sexual abuse, misuse, violence, just heartless fucking and satisfaction, satisfying some needs that we really don't have as these rainbow beings. So how can we restore? She's asking us to restore through sound, whatever you want to tone, tone it, through dance, dance it. Dance is important and not dance like the way that we dance as you know, modern beings, but spontaneously, just aligning the body. Maybe it's just Qigong. And so how do we align these meridians that we have within our bodies with the cosmic flow of the rainbow light. As we move gently following our intuition, we can find the flow. Where is the flow? There are so many flows in this cosmic creation. So maybe just tilting your head slightly might allow you to have a better flow. Maybe just putting yourself in a pose might allow you to have a better flow. And that's why we have yoga. That's why we have Qigong and Tai Chi. That's why we have shamanic dance. And then creating these beautiful patterns within the cosmic creation, those flowers of life and the sacred geometry. So getting inspired by sacred geometry and expanding that. And then finally the breath. The breath really is so sacred. It's unimaginable what the breath can do. So when you chant, Use your breath to chant to expand the rainbow light throughout creation. So deep, 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 deep belly breath. And especially women who are the creators here, 
deep breath into the womb and then exhale exhale creation exhale perfection and restore this beautiful world of the mother <laughs> 